Hi, my name is Mike Chapanik, um, and I just wanted to go through what a typical day would be like for students in AP Biology. So one of the very first things that we always start with is in a daily agenda. So um, students will walk in and the first thing they're required to do is to log into Google Classroom and find this uh, agenda, which you also will have access to. Um, you just find the link um, in the materials I provided that has the daily agenda. Usually one of the first things we do in, in class, once they've logged into there, they'll look for what is the bell work. So usually the bell work is going to be some sort of question or some sort of thing that's found on AP Classroom, which uh, will go through either questions or a video that is directly related to the AP curriculum. Then their next thing is to start working on their grid. Now there's going to be another video specifically about the grid and the tracking sheet, um, as well as like the goals and reflections. Um, but I just want to give you an overview of that. So they will log in and start working wherever they are currently on the grid. In each one of the assignments, there's specific directions about what they're supposed to do, including what is the assignment, what's the learning intention. They can check off the success criteria when they believe that they have met that success criteria. They'll have detailed directions. Um, usually I will have some sort of video walkthrough, so there'll be a link there attached to the video link. Um, they'll adjust their tracking sheet. They'll determine, uh, this will tell them who's gonna be actually assessing their work and how it is assessed and whether they are allowed to work with others and, and to what degree if they are, um, how to turn the assignment in and then how to adjust their tracking sheet. So I try to put every single possible thing they could know or they would need to ask about this particular assignment right in these directions. And you also will have access to these directions um, but directly through the grid, which I'll talk about in another video. Um, and then the students will keep track of their own progress. Um, this actually is a collaborative effort. Um, you'll see all these different colors on there. They mean different sort of things. Again, another video about the tracking sheet and how that works. This is really a collaboration kind of a thing because different colors mean different things. If like you can see there's some yellows on there, sometimes there might be some reds. The yellows would mean that there is, somebody has a question, but that doesn't just rely on me answering that. It could also be their fellow classmates. In fact, by doing so, that could also improve their collaboration and community score. Um, but this also is a way for me to let them know that they have to do a revision. You'll notice a purple on there uh, that indicates that they need a revision as well. And then the final thing that they should be doing every day is logging into Seesaw and writing down some goals uh, for the next class and their reflections upon how they did on their previous goals for this class. Um, if you would like to have direct access and view your students' um, work on Seesaw, uh, there's some directions that are attached in the uh, handouts that I provided for uh, the open house. So that's a typical day. Generally, we're talking about a um, some sort of warm-up bell work activity. The majority of the time is then spent in the working on their grid, um, and they track their own progress, and then they finish up every day with some the goals and reflections in Seesaw. Uh, on the Wednesdays, it's typically just simply a uh, uh, content literacy assignment. They'll be doing some reading or writing directly related to AP Bio. Okay, so I hope that is helpful to you.